Welcome to our video on stretching and how to use some of the stances and animal systems from the Seal on Kung Fu to help with stretching and leg conditioning. Uh, if you're coming to this video from our Instagram link, you've already saw the basics of what we were working on, our dragon stretch. We started this from our horse stance position with the feet out in a classic horse stance. We warmed up by shifting the weight more and more from one side to the other side. We continue this shifting process until we can shift coming all the way down until we're supported on one leg with the other leg extended and straight. Uh, from this position here, we stretch going side to side. Once we've stretched this side, we can shift the weight. And anytime if you need to put the hands down for balance, it's perfectly fine to balance yourself. This will help with leg strength and balance by being able to keep the hands up as we shift across. Also in the Instagram video, we talked about if you're having trouble coming from a horse stance, you don't quite have the flexibility to come all the way down yet, we can begin in a squatting position. In the squatting position, we've already lowered ourselves down. Once again, if you need the balance, you can place the hand on the ground. From here, extend your leg outward. From this position you're back to the same stretch that we were just working on what is nice is starting from the horse stance position work your way into it this is a lot of times referred to as a rock horse as we're here rocking side to side and I just keep rocking that horse to a deeper position a lot of times this will develop more leg strength from these higher positions because we're using this leg muscle to hold ourselves upright while we're in the slanted position. As we continue to get lower, once we come down to this squatted position, we're taking some of the pressure off these leg muscles because we're basically sitting on our calf at this point. So it takes a little away from some of the muscle strain you may be feeling as your legs get stronger. Now, this would be the traditional dragon stance. Now in Kung Fu, we would adapt the hand postures of the dragon claw as we set into this position. If we're using it as a stretch, you don't have to get that involved with it. Now, a take on this stretch that I like to use while I'm down here is to change the muscle group that we're working. As I mentioned before, this is basically an inner thigh kind of split type stretch using one leg at a time. If we wanna stretch the back of our leg, get a little more out of that, then I will modify the traditional dragon stance to a toe up position. A lot of times it's good to use balance to position the hands on either side of the leg. As you can keep your balance this way, now I can bend forward, taking the head towards the foot. We're trying to lay the chest onto the thigh as we stretch here. By doing this stretch in the dragon position, I'm elevated and have an arch here between my leg and the ground. That creates a little more uh, of a tension point as I sink down. While I'm here, not only am I leaning forward, but I'm wanting to sink and stretch out, trying to take this leg as close as to the ground as I can while staying on this foot. Another way of modifying this dragon stretch, we can do as we were doing in this previous example, on the ball of my standing leg. Sometimes we'll do a dragon stance where the foot will remain flat on the ground come into that stance, it's good to assume that horse stance, and we'll turn, shift to a traditional bow and arrow type stance, and then lower the upper body, supporting the weight onto the standing leg. This keeps this leg rooted into the ground. If I need to walk the back leg out, I can. Then I will sink and turn into the stance. This allows the heel to stay on the ground as I stretch and look back towards the opposite leg. So this is a look at how using some of the traditional animal stances, in this case the dragon stance, is a very good leg conditioning, workout drill, as well as a stretch. Thank you.